Yeah, we first met Calvin when he was uh, seven years old. He'd come to the club, he was a local lad. He started to look like more like a footballer that was going to be better than the rest. But when they're on five sides, he used to score from like halfway line, every, like nearly every game and stuff like that. He's crazy, yeah. <laughs> he was a good player, very, very good player. The tackles that he does today in his professional game, we've seen hundreds of times. About nine-year-old people started to come and have a look at him and then they just drifted off a bit and then all of a sudden when he got to 13. That's when Calvin started to be something like Calvin is today. Uh, we played a summer tournament and at that point the, the scout from Leeds United, Sonny, walked along the touchline. Calvin did his famous tackle and uh, Sonny just turned to me and said, who's that? And everybody else knows the story now because it's been all over the TV. Just a smashing event for him, his family and this club. The club uh, was started in 1974 by uh, a couple of local guys who were trying to keep the youth of the um, area off the street corners. It hasn't changed, it's a community spirit and a community club. The, the pitches wasn't brilliant when Calvin played. We used to play on some pitches that belonged to the uh, the new local high school, commonly referred to as the mushy fields or the mushroom fields, and it just made life so difficult. The Football Foundation grant that we got for the pitches is just moving us to a new level. The impact of the pitches have been superb because lives like the people are coming now from all over Leeds to play on these pitches. We signed up for pitch power, which allowed us to do the necessary inspections of the playing surfaces. Without pitch power and the foundation, we wouldn't be looking at pitches with grass on as they are today. And the pitches I used to play on were nowhere near the standard that these kids get the opportunity to play on now. These pitches are absolutely fantastic and they can play all through the winter, and that's thanks to the Football Foundation's funding. Go out there and play football, pass and move, and have fun. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are we up for this? Yeah. Yeah. One, three, one, two, three. One, three. When Calvin first started, we would only have had one team at each age since Calvin's been here and then subsequently moved on to Leeds United and then to Manchester City. It's it's just taken off. Is yeah, who every single player that plays for Wortley aspires to be when they grow up. If we didn't have this club, obviously like the community, the kids wouldn't be able to play football because there's nowhere else. A lot of kids know about Wortley or want to play for Wortley or understand the heritage of the club and obviously where Calvin came from. Um, and it's you know it's an incredibly special football club. I think people have been talking and seeing what we've done and there's more players coming all the time. We're not that bothered about having the next England footballer. It's about the kids coming here, enjoying football, and if they win, they win. If they lose, they lose. It's trying to be inclusive. This is where people, young and old, are now coming to here as a base and saying, well, I played for Wortley when I was a kid and we never had anything like this. So the next generations of young players in Wortley are going to benefit immensely from the investment that we've had from the foundation. Um, and uh, what do you think of um, Calvin Phillips? Sad that he went to Man City. <laughs> <laughs>